voters will be asking for COVID-19 passports or proof of a flow test logged within 24 hours or a proof of a CPR test logged within 24 hours of the event. A mum has requested Calderdale Council to take action by knocking down the old mill, steam-powered mill, at the bottom of Old Lane in Halifax. After her son trespassed onto the property, breaking his legs while he was trespassing onto the property. Other problems have occurred around this mill, with rocks and debris falling onto teenagers. Teenagers committing sexual offences under age, drug dealing and many, many more. Calderdale Council are in discussions of what should happen to Old Lane Steam Powered Mill. A woman has been charged after throwing a glass at the manager. The incident which happened on the 11th of May when she abused staff to around and during the COVID pandemic to around and saying do not move tables, do not keep the social distancing measures. The manager banned her from the establishment. Later on this woman returned to the Skipton pub and turned around and threw a glass at the manager and turned around and says ban this. The police was called, the woman was arrested and she's due in Otley Crown Court this week. Historical water ride Valhalla located at Blackpool Pressure Beach closed its doors in 2009 after deeming that the ride was unsafe and not fit for purpose and costing the park too much money. The park decided to investigate on how they could keep the water attraction of Blackpool Pressure Beach as Valhalla open. With leaked le boats leaking, the cost of running the ride and everything like that. So the park decided in 2019 to investigate how they could make the ride more cost effective. The ride has been made cost effective and has a new soundtrack and new features which is due to open in summer 2022. Wrestling Hall of Famer Jake the Snake Roberts is to miss AEW Dynamite after catching an illness which is nothing to related to COVID-19. A statement was released on Twitter by Wrestling Performance All Elite Wrestling. Police member of staff Richard Marshall of West Yorkshire Police has been suspended after a misconduct hearing after stalking a woman. AEW released a statement on Twitter that COVID vaccination passports will and licenses will be required at their New York show. Forest Fort Bleach near Bridlington, where the old army ballads are, is known for being a nudist attraction at beach, but this all changed in the 1990s. There were still people hitting the beach, nude, naked, being naturists, which is now a criminal offence. The law changed in 1990. East Yorkshire Riding's Council are in discussion of making it a beach which will be patrolled by police officers to try and persuade people not to go onto the beach naked and they will be fining them and also arresting them under criminal charges for indecent exposure. Three arrested during closure raid of Leeds now shop and Tasia revealed gangs used weapons purchased from the store. Police made three arrests during a raid to close a Leeds now shop after reports that revealed gangs used weapons purchased in the store. Neighbourhood policing teams exposed a warrant of Fantasia now shop in Leeds city centre on Tuesday the 7th to support ongoing work to tackle knife crime involving with young crime involved in young involving young people the operation was led by from Leeds North East neighborhood policing team so a warrant under the knife act 1997 exposed on the Fantasia store in Lutgate Hill which sells knives, machetes and swords. The art covers unlawful marketing of knives regulations, marketing and selling of the ways. Three people was arrested and they are due in court very, very soon. School teacher Hasina Hassan from West Sussex has been jailed after having sex with a 14 year old boy. She turned around and said she was flirting with the pupils and the pupils were flirting with her. But behind the scenes she was actually having sex with a 14 year old boy and she has been jailed for it. Arthur Laban Joe Hughes, 6, was killed by evil stepmother Emma Teston, 32, 
and pitiless father Thomas Hughes, 29 both of whom subjected him to months of torturous abuse. Arthur Laban Joe Hughes' murderer aborted a baby in jail and and tried to kill herself to avoid justice, a court heard. The six-year-old was killed by evil stepmother Emma Teston, 32, and pitiless father Thomas Hughes, 29 both of whom subjected him to months of torturous abuse. On Friday, Teston was jailed for life with a minimum of 29 years after being found guilty of murder and Hughes, guilty of manslaughter, jailed for 21 years. Twisted Teston was pregnant with Hugh's baby when she violently attacked Arthur in June 2020, before undergoing an abortion at 21 weeks. During the trial at Coventry L. Crown Court, it has been revealed Teston tried to avoid justice for her sickening attack on the little boy by taking an overdose and TLing to hang herself. Mary Pryor QC described her as a high suicide risk, saying that she had been obliged to terminate a pregnancy. Today, Howard Lee Tustin refused to leave her jail cell to take to the dock for sentencing. Horrifying details in court described how Arthur was segregated for 14 hours a day and forced to sleep on the floor or in the hallway. Tragic footage also showed Arthur attempting to put away his own duvet in the dark after waking up on the floor. Other sickening evidence described how he was weakened by salt poisoned and deprived of food and water. He was found to have 130 injuries all over his body after being hit, slapped, kicked, punched, and beaten. Sentencing Tustin to 29 years, Judge Wall told her that is not the time she will spend in custody, but the minimum term before her case is even considered by a parole board. He says if they do not decide to release her, she will spend the rest of her life in prison. He said, this cruel and inhuman treatment of Arthur was a deliberate decision by you to brush off his cries for help as naughtiness. Addressing Tustin, he continued, you are a manipulative woman who will tell any lie and shift the blame onto anyone to save your own skin. He passes concurrent sentences of 10 years the maximum on each child cruelty offense. Hughes, a dad who assaulted and actively encouraged violence against his son, was jailed for 21 years. He received nine-year concurrent terms for the child cruelty offenses. Arthur, the son of Olivia Laban Joe Halcrow, had been placed in his dad's custody after his maternal mother was jailed for 11 years for stabbing her on and off partner to death. He suffered months of abuse as the first UK lockdown forced Hughes, Tustin and Arthur to confine in her Solihull home, alongside her two children. On the day Arthur's fatal injuries were inflicted, Arthur was shown to be fragile, and weakened by the abuse in a heartbreaking clip, with him barely able to pick his blanket up off the living room floor. That afternoon, Tustin brutally shook his head back and forth and slammed it off either the walls, floor or both. Arthur was rushed to Birmingham Children's Hospital, but the damage to his brain was irreversible, and he died in intensive care at 1 a.m. on June 17. Since the tragedy emerged, heartbroken people across the city have shared tributes, and made gestures of love towards the boy who cried no one loves me and no one's going to feed me amid the abuse. To be held at Sunday's match, a doorstep vigil is set for 7 p.m. on December 17. The garden of the house where he was fatally injured was also filled with love as balloons and a tribute reading you are loved Arthur. Today in Doncaster City Centre, a bunch of teenagers and their teachers was attacked by a bunch of youths and the reports from the teenagers and the staff at the city centre reported there was 15 to 20 eyewitnesses of the event of the te disabled teenagers and their teachers getting attacked in Doncaster city centre. Antisocial behaviour happened in the Ovenden North Halifax area last night where a set of fire extinguishers was stolen from Tesla Express and used by teenagers in the presence of disabled and elderly individuals. Police are looking for evidence and are asking people to call them with any evidence they may have to investigate the antisocial behaviour of this crime. West Yorkshire Police issued a statement saying they will be making more police presence in the area. West Yorkshire Police and many major 
nightclub areas in the West Yorkshire towns are launching a campaign of don't drink and drive through the Christmas period. Many nightclubs are also issuing statements surrounding and assisting if you are a dedicated driver to request armband so bar staff know that you are a dedicated driver and can sell you non-alcohol drinks. This campaign has just started in major West Yorkshire towns and centres. So if you are a dedicated driver, ask for a wristband and you can have a non-alcohol drink. Staff and customers have slept in IKEA after big store storm in Denmark. Up to 30 centimetres, 12 inches of snow hit the city centre, leaving 25 staff and customers unable to go home. So IKEA left approximately 300 people slept in the IKEA store and in Denmark, northern Denmark airport. The, the group slept in showrooms on beds, sofa beds and mattresses. Kellogg Cornflakes have released a statement that they will be trialling paper packaging with their cereals in January 2020. The major retail of Tesco says we need to be able to cut back on plastics and waste on landfill sites. So Kellogg's are trialling paper packaging as of January 2022. North Yorkshire County Council are hiring security staff after councillors have been abused and had death threats of the COVID pandemic. And this comes after Sir David Hamish's attack and kill. In Prime Minister's question time, the leader of opposition, Karita Starmer, issued that Prime Minister Boris Johnson broke the COVID pandemic rules by holding a Christmas party in number 10. Evidence proves that Boris Johnson did not break the COVID pandemic rules by holding a Christmas party at 10 Downing Street. 1990 film Home Alone, the house that was set and filmed, is now available up for rent. New Brighton RNLI volunteers Tom and Emily went out on an exercise shout learning on how to tie knots and things but this training exercise was actually pre planned. Tom went down on one knee and proposed to Emily asking if she would marry her marry him. Emily turned around and says yes and then the boat came back into the loading area. Bindi Irwin has released a report that her grandfather, Bob, who was featured in the Crocodile Hunter series, has ignored her and typically cut her off since 1992. So she has had no contact with him and probably really will not get any Christmas cards or receive Christmas cards. But he still gets funded by Australia Zoo. Leaks on Twitter to around and says daughter of legendary Black Sabbath frontman Ozzy Osbourne, Kelly Osbourne, could be pregnant. Kelly hit Twitter in an angry and frustrated state to around and saying, I am not fucking pregnant. Grow up. Derbyshire Police Sergeant Daryl Clark is answering misconduct allegations after making sexual comments about a lesbian woman. The hearing is happening this week in... Derbyshire. Norwich born British wrestler and WWE wrestler Paige released a statement around and saying after the sexual imagery was stolen from me and put out online across thousands and thousands of websites I have had to receive counselling and mental health support and had to return home to Norwich to get away from it and cut myself off to the outside world. Finally, after receiving mental health support and counselling, I am now able to step back into a public limelight but will not be able to step back into the wrestling ring and fight due to my neck injury. School pupils have been sent home by schools for wearing too tight of pants as a school uniform, even though shops like Argos, Asda, Morrison's, Tesco's, 
Marks and Spencers are selling these type of trousers. Schools are deeming that they are too tight for girls to wear them. From the 1st of April 2022, pornographic websites like Porntube, RedTube and any other adult featured websites will be requesting car credit card details so people can check ages while entering on those sites due to recent activities of a younger audience accessing those websites. Prime Minister Boris Johnson has released a statement that not many people are abiding by the new lockdown measures of wearing face masks in shops and in public buildings like on buses and on public transport. He says we need more of a police presence to be able to tackle this problem and more people in less exempt have to be wearing face masks or receiving a £200 fixed penalty notice. Reports have found that many people are receiving a face-to-face -face consultation with a practicing doctor, GP, and having to receive phone appointments and Zoom appointments, leading people to suffer more in health needs and rushing them to accident and emergency to be able to receive a face-to-face -face consultation with a qualified doctor. The National Health Service have released a statement to around and telling people please do not turn up to an accident and emergency unless it is an emergency. The problem is there are more people turning up to the A&E because they cannot see a face-to-face -face consultation with a doctor. They are urging people to call the 111 number and actually speak to somebody face-to-face -face instead of turning up to accident and emergency unless it is an emergency. The National Health Service have released a report urging people to call 111 option 2 if they are in a mental health crisis after mental health cases have risen over the COVID pandemic of lockdown. Prince of Darkness, Ozzy Osbourne or John Michael Osbourne, the footman of Black Sabbath, has cancelled his tour from 2020. <laughs> 2021, 2022 and has rescheduled it to tour in 2023. Postponed due to health grounds, Mr Osborne says. Leaving fans this time with trying to get a refund. You know, you know, the, the way I look at it, and I've spoken to Sharon about it, is I cannot go out on the road until I'm 100% confident that I can pull it off. Because if I go out now and I can't carry on, people are going to think I've lost the plot, you know. So I'm not going to go out there until I can give them the show that I want to give them because it's not fair to them. I mean, I waited this long and I'm intending on going back on the road. I don't want to go out and go, and fall over the first song, you know. Legendary son of Crocodile Hunter Steve Irwin, Robert Irwin, celebrated his 18th birthday at Australia Zoo by getting awarded a plaque and certificate and signed off with everything Crocodile. The celebration was done at the Crocodile Hunters Park and the plaque was presented to him in the crocodile enclosure. Rumours have it that World Wrestling Entertainment, WWE, could be sold to Walt Disney. These are just rumours and nothing has been clarified by World Wrestling Entertainment as of yet. But Vince McMahon turned around and says he would not put any cards on the table about selling WWE. He said it could happen, it couldn't happen. We just have to wait and see if we get the best deal possible. In September 2020, the speaking out moment came famous by... Professional wrestlers hitting Twitter and turn around saying that coaches in wrestling sexually abused them. It was a right big storm that irritated the British House of Commons. But there must be another link on Twitter turning around and saying what's the point of the speaking out movement at all because the men and women that actually sexually abused certain people are still getting hired in the British wrestling scene. The problem is, speaking to other professional wrestlers, the problem is that wrestling does not have a governing body and nothing has been done. Under new UK law, 
Pet owners of dogs and cats must microchip their animals or face a £500 fine if they have not been microchipped. As of January 2022, drivers processing a vehicle will face charges driving through barricades in Bradford upon the cleaner air zone known as CAZ. The zone will cover the area inside and including the Bradford Outer Ring Road and will extend out along the Air Valley Corridor including Shipley and Saltaire. HGVs and buses in branch of the standards of the ACAZ will be charged £50 a day to enter Bradford City Centre. Taxes will be charged £12.50 per day to enter the zone. Light good vehicles such as minibuses will be charged approximately of £9 per day. Charges will not apply to private vehicles. Bradford is one of several local authorities who has been declared by the government to improve air quality. The objective of CAZ is to decrease toxic of airflow in Bradford city centre, short point in time depending on the use of older and personal vehicles. A 330 million fund will be given by the government to uh, ensure this is being given. So basically, if you are not a private vehicle and you are a taxi, a bus, a THGV, um, a minibus or anything like that, you will be charged for entering Bradford City Centre, along including Shipley and Salt Air. How... Halifax bus station is now under development of a 17.7 million state to make the facility better. Leaders have taken a guided tour around the process of the bus station, which is now being demolished and made into an indoor bus station, a bit like Keithley. Derbyshire Police Constable Neil Bird has resigned after drink driving. He worked out of Peartree Police Station in Derby. He has resigned after facing a misconduct hearing. Manger West Yorkshire towns and cities are facing a bus shortage on an evening due to youths smashing bus windows and committing anti-social behaviour acts. West Yorkshire Police say they are trying to focus on anti-social behaviour within those areas but Metro Line who runs the buses have pulled off buses due to the antisocial behaviour increasing on certain areas of the town, leaving people stranded with no bus home after work or school. Nightclubs spiking with drugs in drinks and also needles in people's legs has become a thing that's happening quite a lot in nightclubs recently. The police said they don't understand why this is happening, but they are making more police presence on the streets. A lot of teenagers and people that like to go out and have a good night are scared of this happening to them. The Simpsons Movie 2 is a 2022 animation 3D computer animation game and movie set upon the new animation series, The Simpsons. The last showing of this Miracle movie follows this is The Simpsons movie, which featured in 2017. This movie will be released on August the 26th, 2022. So we're having a new Simpson game and a new Simpson movie. The act of upskirting, taking your cell phone and placing it under a lady's skirt and taking a picture has now after so many years been given a law change doing this act is now falling into the sexual offences act so if you are taking a picture of a lady underneath her skirt you can now be prosecuted for it 
and on Saturday the 4th of December 2021 a protest happened in York City Centre. The protest was about anti-vaccines and freedom and going against a, another lockdown. At the protest there was people that was vaccinated and people that wasn't vaccinated but it was mainly to do with not going back into a lockdown. A lot of people actually brought through police cordons and um, marched through the city uh, or where the market, the Christmas markets um, actually went on. They uh, carried banners and air horns and chanting as well as they walked through the city centre. Greater Manchester Police have released a statement that they will be taking more action on the spice drug use within Manchester City Centre in such areas as Piccadilly Gardens. The spice increase in them, in them gardens has led on to certain crimes of antisocial behaviour, fighting, knife and glass attacks, stealing and many, many more. Greater Manchester Police turn around and says we need to tackle these crimes face on with more police presence on the streets and finding people and removing alcohol and drugs from them on the spot. Calderdale Council Customer First Office in Halifax Town Centre has closed its doors for good, blaming the COVID pandemic and, lit and shortage of staff for the crisis of the centre being closed and that closing down. In later reports, the customer first centre had series of problems with people going in and urinating on counters, abusing staff. The council was in talks with having security at the building, but this did not push through. So they decided to close it, leaving thousands and thousands of Calderdale residents without a customer first centre to contact the council, having to go online and call the O one four two two numbers, which are not free. So the council are sadly not allowing people that cannot hear, that are deaf, and that cannot use a computer, stranded with nothing to get support for council needs. In other news, in North Halifax, residents are confused with which side is Illingworth and which side is Ovindon and where do they meet? People are actually getting posts sent to Illingworth but we're living in an Ovindon address. Residents are really confused of which part of Ovindon and which part is Illingworth. Compared to the council, it, on voting records, they are completely and utterly different to addresses that are given to Royal Mail or where properties are actually lying. The council are in discussions of which part is Ovindon and which part is Illingworth. No one will ever know. West Yorkshire and Leeds could finally get its own Metrolink tram system. £200 million pounds has been given by the Conservative government to West Yorkshire to make this happen. Mayor of West Yorkshire, Tracy Bremen, says in her pledge when she stood to be mayor that transport bus services would be better for West Yorkshire. She has also made pledges that you will not have to go out and pay ridiculous prices doing a five day a week job and having to get ridiculous taxes which cost an arm and a leg which will take half of your wage. She says we will get a better bus service but the pledge says she might not get it till 2025. They're in discussions of making West Yorkshire better for everybody but we also have the carbon crisis as well. 
Member of Parliament for Kirklees, Huddersfield, Barry Sherman will not be standing after 40 years representing the town of Huddersfield. Field. He said it was been a pleasure serving everybody, but at the general next general election, which could be take some time, I will no longer be representing Huddersfield. It has been a pleasure to represent all the residents and people of Huddersfield and make the town more diverse. When and a better place for everybody to live. He released a statement earlier this evening on Twitter, along with this featured video here. Hello, it's Barry Sherman, Member of Parliament for Huddersfield. I've been your Member of Parliament for a long time, over 40 years. And you know, it's been such a pleasure working with you to make this town the success it's become. When we started all those years ago, it was a fairly traditional town, you know, manufacturing, industrial, successful, but we had to look to the future and together we've built Huddersfield into a modern, exciting university town with diverse employment, a great number of cultural attractions and so much to do. It's a place to bring up a family, to have a good life, to work and to play. But I have to say, and to be honest with you, I have decided not to stand at the next general election. Now that's going to be some time away, it could be two and a half years. But I wanted to tell you that uh, I won't be the candidate next time. But there is going to be a transition. But meanwhile, I will be here as your Member of Parliament, serving the community, working with you. There's much to be done. And also I'll be representing you and the town in Parliament as vigorously as before. So, time for change. It's going to be gradual, but it's going to come. And I want to thank you for the love and the friendship and the great time I've had as your Member of Parliament. I've tried to give the town everything I could and you have given it back very strongly. So thank you. Pet charity, the RSPCA, have released a statement urging people not to buy any animals such as dogs and cats over the Christmas period, stating the, the pandemic of the COVID-19 has hit everybody hard, including the RSPCA staff. We cannot afford for anybody to buy any pets that cannot be looked after properly. We are working to our tailbones to make it safe and reliable with people calling us 24 7 to go and rescue animals that have been foully threatened we please urge everybody in the united kingdom not to buy an animal unless you can seriously look after the animal and anybody that is not able to look after an animal they are urging people to call them now parents believe that lives of teenage girls could have been saved after several years of sexual assault the parents of the teens turn around and says, well, education and learning about different sexual agendas within schools and colleges, it could have saved their teenage daughter's lives. Stating that there needs to be a statement given in the House of Commons about this and laws should be changed around trawling and verbal attacks and abuse within online platforms. Weather warnings have been issued in the United Kingdom after Storm Barbara hits the UK with gale force winds and temperatures dropping to minus zero and forecasts of rain. The Met Office urges everybody who is in high majority areas to please make sure that everything is safe from storms. MP Matt Arncock has been dug, dug at by Philip Schofield on this morning after allegations he did not keep social distancing after pleading with the United Kingdom to keep social distancing measures over the COVID-19 measures this year. 
Matt Hancock stated that he could not blame that is the fact that he had dyslexia from not keeping the social distancing measures. Billy Schofield says because you have not kept the guidelines, you should res resign as Home Health Secretary. Beechwood Royal Library in Home Field near Illingworth, Halifax, North Halifax, is set to reopen after a major refurbishment to the roof which was leaking and thousands of thousands of pounds have been spent on the building to make it up to the 21st century being the building being then from the 1930s. An open event has been planned on December 20, 2021 and they uh, are encouraging all residents from the North Halifax area to register yourself as library members and let's get reading, Councillor General Lynch stated this afternoon. Gentleman Jack writer, Happy Valley writer, last tango in Halifax writer Sally Rainwright has been given Freeman of Calderdale by Councillor Dot Foster this afternoon. WWE wrestling superstar Alexa Bliss had her booty smacked by a fan. The video appeared on Twitter. When she was questioned in, about the assault, she turned around and said, Kids in WWE, get away with anything. We just laughed it off. Well, when it happened, I asked Naya because she was carrying me over her shoulders. I was like, is that you? And she was like, no. And like, we just walked back and we were just like, we laughed it off. But it was still one of those, I was very shocked it happened. I was like, oh my gosh. And I was like, is that you? And she was like, no. And like, it was just, yeah, it was a little kid. Kids, kids are, they do what they want. A prison officer is still fighting sexual misconduct claims and is still off work on full pay after five years of the disciplinary process. The disciplinary imagine a cost of £1 million to the Scottish prison system fighting charges over several years. A very, very special guest is due next year to hit the historical archive and tourist attraction Halifax Peace Song and is set to make live performances. Sir Tom Jones has been announced that he will be performing at the Halifax Peace Song in 2022. Music attraction which normally happens in March in the, at the Spa in Scarborough. Scarborough Top Secret Blues Festival which is widely spread by the word of mouth by the residents of Scarborough and uh, sadly due to the Covid pandemic Campaigners have been trying to keep the festival running over the pandemic, but sadly, owners of the festival cannot fund the festival to carry on. So sadly, the Top Secret Blues Festival has sadly had to close down. Dates have been released for the Download Festival, which happens in Dominton Park every year in 2022, which will happen on the 10th, the 11th and the 12th of June 2022. Uh, the festival owner says it will be one of the biggest and best festivals to date. Nurses at Huddersfield Royal Infirmary are furious that bosses of Huddersfield Royal Infirmary have stopped Christmas parties saying that we do not want to spread or impact the cases of COVID-19 within the hospitals. The Protect the Protectors Bill is an Act of Parliament which is for Basically, if you're a sort of emergency worker, you'll be prosecuted for it. The bill has passed royal consent, it has passed the House of Lords, and it's now been made into a strategy law. So if you were a sort of emergency worker, you will be now prosecuted. I come to the Chamber once again, Madam Deputy Speaker, to raise the profile of the risks facing those working on the front line of our emergency services. I come to seek approval for new legislation that would offer our police officers, firefighters, doctors, nurses and paramedics greater protection from harm than existing legislation currently allows. They routinely go above and beyond in order to keep the public safe, 
Yet when someone sets out to deliberately injure or assault an emergency responder, the laws in place must convey how unacceptable this is in the strongest possible terms. This bill sets out to do just that. just doing my job. I was just doing my job. I'm absolutely delighted that we've got third reading of the bill. That means it goes now onto the House of Lords and with any luck um, we should be able to have much better legislation protecting our emergency workers on the statute book by this autumn. Uh, the, one of the best bits of today was the government finally caved in on the question of whether sexual assault of emergency workers should be included in the bill, and it will now. Uh, and so, you know, the bottom line is an attack on anybody is wrong, but an attack on any one of our emergency workers is in effect an attack on all of us. So, of course, the law should be brought to uh, bear on them, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Somebody said, we're not superheroes, we do bruise, we do get battered. And that's a demonstration of what can happen and it brings the reality home to our children and our loved ones that the job can sometimes be dangerous or ultimately end your life. My assumption was that the assailant would have gone to prison for hmm. maybe five or six years for something like that. No, I'm sorry, but your assumption There's, is Yeah, and not the assumption I, I now know is wrong. What, what happened? Uh, she got 16 weeks on a tag and £150 to pay me compensation, which I know I won't see because she doesn't work. On Tuesday the 13th of November, the Assault on Emergency Workers Bill comes into effect. This is after a tireless campaign by the Police Federation and others uh, under the Protect the Protectors Bill. But this is just the start because we didn't get every we want, everything we wanted in this legislation, but it's absolutely a start. But my plea to you, as, a, as police officers or any emergency worker, is if you're assaulted, whether physically or verbally, please report it. Get it recorded, and if it needs to be investigated, it should be investigated. No emergency worker deserves to be assaulted just because of the uniform they wear or the job that they do. So I'm really proud that this legislation is now in law. We'll make sure that the legislators use it. We'll make sure that the Crown Prosecution Service uses it because it's going to give you an extra level of protection. 